Hi, I'm David Brashears, and I'm uh, a mountaineer and a filmmaker and a photographer, and I'm very interested in climate change on the Tibetan Plateau. I've um, climbed Mount Everest five times, and I first journeyed to the mountain in 1981, so I'm very familiar with the area in terms of its um, uh, topography. I was not that familiar with uh, how rapidly the glaciers were melting until I took uh, this panoramic photo down here. This photo was taken by me, a series of six images standing at 19,000 feet in November of 2008. Here's Mount Everest right here. Here's Lhotse. Here's Nupsi. Those mountains are in Nepal. Here's Pumori. Half is in Tibet, half is in Nepal. This is the old West Rungbuk Glacier. This picture that I was matching was, um, was um, taken in uh, 1921 by Captain Wheeler of the British uh, Mount Reconnaissance Expedition when they first went to Mount Everest to basically see what it looked like and to find a way up the mountain. So if you look at this picture, um, it's, it's very astonishing if, if you take the time to look at the details. These are absolutely exact matches of this terrain and this mountain, 1921, 2008. The glacier sitting up here in um, 1921, this, so it was here, it has dropped over 350 vertical feet here in the span of, of, of half a kilometer wide, several kilometers long. The further along we move, um, it, it even becomes more dramatic. Here's a, a rock island, a rock peak, embedded in the glacier in 1921. Here it is in 2008. Why is it twice as tall? Because the glacier dropped 400 feet here. Um, it's just astonishing. And it, it's, it's true all the way across, and it's true um, far to the western edge of the glacier, and it's true over here, on, on, on the north face of Everest. Right here is a picture taken by the famous um, Everest climber George Mallory, the main Longbook Glacier. Here's the same picture in 2008. The glacier used to sit up here. You can see the lines. Here's where it once was, way up here. Here's where it is. It's dropped 300 vertical feet. This was a sea of ice. And to give you a little bit of scale on, on this, how big are those ice pinnacles? Well, I'll show you how big they are if you come in and then look. Because that ice pinnacle right there is right here. And there's a climber on it. So if you take that ice pinnacle, which is one of the smaller ones, and place it right here, then you get an idea of, of, of the, the, the amount of ice that's being lost. And um, this is the highest part of the highest water tower in the world, Mount Everest. Basically, glaciers store and release water. Now they're no longer storing them. They're only releasing water, and, um, which means uh, this glacier will be gone in the not too distant future. And um, I don't know how many years that is. The experts uh, decide on that. I just come back with the evidence to show people uh, how dramatic uh, the change is in such a short period of time.